guys welcome back to my channel once again we are trying out some of the LA Splash Hunger Games the exhibition collection I will give you like a quick rundown of what I said in my previous video so I did my capital look first using those products and now I'm using all of my girl on fire kind of stuff so this is inspired by like obviously the Hunger Games books movies but also there is a show in Las Vegas called Hunger Games the exhibition and that's kind of what prompted this when I saw trend made post about this everybody was like why are they doing in this now wow is it 2012 wow you're late like comments like that and some really negative stuff too and I'm like calm down it's makeup I love the Hunger Games books I love the Hunger Games movies I had like my little Mockingjay pin like I was all in it and every now and then I still like load up the movies and watch them like on a day where I really want to do nothing I would just binge those movies all day long and chill out and you know lately that's what we've been doing. So I have watched Hunger Games all the way through since we've been kind of like isolating. So let's go ahead and get into it. I have several products I'm gonna use, basically the same as the Capital Look, except a very different product assortment. A quick rundown of what we're using. First off, the palette. So this is the Girl on Fire collection with the little Mockingjay. We've got some neutral shades here. I did do swatches, so I'll insert those too. This palette goes for $20. I have a pair of lashes. These are the style Vinia, and this is definitely a more natural lash the capital one was over the top I actually it kind of grew on me as I wore it though it was still pretty the lashes are $12 we've got two matte liquid lipsticks in primrose and Katniss I love the names these look like at first glance pretty similar but one's a bit warmer one's a bit pinker and they're right up my alley like I actually like that these are similar colors because they're a little bit different but they're right in that like wheelhouse of like my favorite pinky nudes the matte liquid lips are 16 a piece not too bad but not like the the most amazing price the formula that I've tried so far is pretty good so I'm excited to try those colors and then we have three of the glitter liners and these were 14 a piece and these are in the shades Cole, Embers, and Senna. Senna was one of my favorite characters, so I love that they did like this bronzy gold for him. He always had that on. Okay, so let's just go ahead and jump right into it. I'm gonna do the same as I did in the other video. I'm just gonna start with one eye, and I'm gonna finish that other eye off camera, and then we'll come back and finish lips. I'm just kind of patting that concealer and blending it in. I'm gonna grab this Suva Beauty for 20 brush. This one's kind of a little bit dense, so I'm gonna start with Primrose, which is like a soft, a little bit cool toned like tan so the first thing I'm gonna do is just pat 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 all up in the crease upon swatch this shade did not look very pigmented like it was just my skin tone maybe too was affecting it but I was like oh god is this color even going to show up but she's there I mean it's a nice little transition color for me um, not for everyone obviously because it's so fair but that gives you the general the general idea and I'm gonna take a Morphe E I think this is E23 my Morphe brushes are beat up because I've used them so much and I'm just gonna blend that shade up and out since it's so light I'm gonna take it really far out it's gonna build up in some areas once again just blend 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 Okay, pretty simple very soft I can see like some people liking this for a very like simple look just throw that in the crease and you're good to go and then this other shade buttercup for those who have like more medium to deeper skin tones you could do it with that one and then for those with very deep complexions you could use this so I feel like you got a little bit of something for everyone and it's not so light or so deep that you know it kind of makes it hard for everybody to use it God, I'm rambling back to that Suva 420 and I'm gonna pick up buttercup it's gonna be a very simple eye but it's kind of like a go-to for me just one blown out in the crease another shade blown out but not as much a little darkness on the outer but I might do a little halo eye with this I think that would be pretty I think I'm gonna do a halo so I'm gonna take buttercup a little bit more and just make sure we've got it farther in. I'm going to take a Suva 410. It's a little smaller and I'm going to pick up Tigris, which is the brown shade. And I'm just going to start really gently patting that in on both corners. These always look a little bit crazy when you get started, but it's totally fine. It comes together. I'm actually going to take a Morphe E30 I think this is 36 it's a really really tiny brush and I'm gonna tuck that color right into the corner so 
You can see it's already kind of created a halo with that empty space there in the center. It's a very easy eye look. You can throw this on once you get used to it. If you're not used to wearing halo eyes, it's very easy to get used to because it's simple. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and take some Cinna. Cinna, Cinna? Oh, it's so smooth. Wow, the shadow is so soft that my finger is just kind of like packing it down. So I'm gonna use a brush. I'm gonna use a little Smashbox primer water on this flat brush. All right, that just amped up the shine a little bit, but keeping it really kind of subtle, doing kind of a catness look, which wouldn't be a ton of makeup. So look how pretty. All right, these three shades of the liners. So I'm gonna insert some swatches. The black one, I honestly am like confused about. I'm gonna be 100% honest because when you put it on, it just kind of looks like little black specks. They don't have a lot of shine to them. I don't know it, it's an interesting choice like I get it it's cool um, but it would have been interesting if these were maybe flecked with red or something I don't know something a little bit different I'm gonna take embers which is kind of like a red brown and I'm gonna like go along my lash line where I have the darker brown I'm gonna take some Senna in the center I just went ahead and kind of packed it on top of the gold too because I thought it looked really pretty. I might put just a little bit of embers in the center on the bottom. So I'm gonna go ahead and just do the lower lash line. I used the shade Tigress on this tiny brush so I'm just gonna lightly tap that on the outer part. And now I'm just gonna take some Buttercup. All right, let's pull out these lashes. These are a much thinner band than the others. We're gonna do House of Lashes Glue. I like to just kind of flex my band while the glue is on there and starting to dry. All right, so that is one eye completed, a simple little halo. The lash is still on the semi-dramatic side, but I really like that lash, I think. It looks pretty and kind of fluttery, flirty, you know, that kind of look. So I'm going to do my other eye and then we'll come back for lips. All right, so my eyes are done. I went ahead and put on a little highlight. This is Hank and Henry. It's Miss Red Carpet, the loose highlight. And I used Roller Lash Mascara. I'm actually loving this eye. It's pretty simple, very neutral, nothing crazy, but I do like it a lot. I feel like I could have taken the shadow up a little bit more, but I like it. It's just like cute a little bit sultry the lashes are hanging down a little bit so i don't know next time i might trim them a tiny bit more um so that they don't look like they're kind of like but overall really really cute so we've got two liquid lips i think i'll try on primrose first and i'll probably wear katniss with the look so i'll go ahead and try primrose i mentioned in my last video the doe foot is like a little big for this opening otherwise they're really nice All right, so that is Primrose. Also, just to mention too, I love the little red stone. It reminds me of the arrows that were incendiary. They had the little red on them. I don't know if that's what they had in mind, but I like it. So Primrose is really pretty. It's obviously a little bit cool tone, so I wouldn't pair it with this eye personally, but it is a really pretty like pinky mauve nudish kind of look. Definitely a color right up my alley. These feel pretty good. I kind of compared them to the feeling of like Stila liquid lips, which I actually really like. They're not my like number one most comfortable feeling liquid lipstick in my opinion but it's up there like I love maybe three or four others over this in terms of consistency but they wear a really long time I wore one of my other ones last night while eating like after I filmed the video I wore it for hours and it lasted through like spaghetti garlic bread <laughs> drinking tons of drinks stuff like that so it was pretty long wearing and not too dry pretty comfortable on the lips so let's move on to Katniss The scent of these remind me of like little maple candies. I cannot remember what they're called, but that's what it smells like to me. All right, so there is the lip Katniss. This one's just warm enough to make it really go with this eye. It still looks more 
like a real natural kind of lip color just better it's like a warm pinky nude but i really like it with this overall look i am impressed with this really the only thing from this collection in particular that i don't really care for is this coal liner which it looks better when it dries down but it just looks like black shiny little specks of glitter but it's not really shiny or sparkly it's nothing like crazy on the eyes i could see using it for some particular looks but i'm just gonna have to figure out like what way to use it whereas the other two i feel like you could just pick up and use especially the shade senna which i did go ahead and put all over the eyeshadow in the middle this is be like the one i would recommend if i was like one liner to pick up from this group it would definitely be senna i love it the liquid lips i actually like both the only thing is like with a liquid lip of course it is a little drying on the lips most of them are so it's not perfection but it's a really good liquid lip and then the palette turned out nicely I'm pretty sure that most everyone will have shades like this in their collection though nothing in here is like extraordinarily unique so I'm not mad that I picked this up but I can definitely see you being able to create this very same eye look using other shadows that you have already at home so these would probably be the things Things that I'm like most excited about. I think the lashes are really pretty and 12 is not a bad price point. Overall I'm really happy with everything and the way that the look turned out. Let me know your thoughts below if you're going to pick anything up from this collection. I probably love most of this more so because I love the look of it. I love the aesthetic and it's very like reminiscent for me because I love the books and the movies but I don't think they're extremely unique products that like oh my god you have to get your hands on right now. If you like the movies and the books the way that I do I can definitely see these being worthwhile to pick up and I'll continue to wear these things like everything I would wear again not upset that I purchased any of these products but those are my thoughts I hope you guys enjoyed watching this little try on with me if you're not already subscribed please go and hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell that right now is the only way um, that you might get some notifications is to have that notification bell turned on and even when you have it turned to all you may not get all notifications I do typically about four videos a week I'm really consistent so I usually have new videos popping up for you guys unless something crazy is going on. So be sure to come back and check out my other videos and don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed and I will see you guys really soon in my next one. Bye!